I'm DJ Premier, and I present to you, So What's Up. Okay, computer. Run it back. So what's up? All right. 1994 is where it started. No, 1992 is when it started. But album-wise, 1994, it started. And then 1995, it happened. The album. You know what I'm talking about? No, you don't? Oh, yeah, you do? Whether you do or don't, I'm about to tell you. Gangstar Foundation's own group home. All right, shout to Lil Dap. Shout to Melakai the Nutcracker. Shout to Guru, rest in peace. And shout to Big Shug, also the co-founder of Gangstar from the beginning. And shout to Jay Ru the Damager. This is the original Gangstar Foundation because of Guru. And Guru said, I want to sign three groups and you sign three groups. I said, all right. He said, let's sign our crew the sign Lil Dap and Malachi's group home. Let's sign Shug since he's a co-founder of the group. And let's sign Jay Ru the Damager. Jay Ru the Damager came first because I felt like out of everybody as a producer and just knowing what feels right and also as a DJ, Jay Ru was ready. So we started with him. We had the successful Sunrise in the East album, which still to this day does his numbers and still to this day is one of the greatest albums of my career and his and just in hip hop itself. So proud of that album. When it came to Group Home, there was a different approach for two reasons. Before I tell you the song that we're gonna talk about on the floppy disc, I wanna explain to you. The album kinda came together in, in, in a weird way. For Malachi the Nutcracker, he's from the Boogie Down Bronx, 183rd in the Bronx. I used to live there, me and Guru used to live there for a brief moment. Shout to everybody, Panchi, Smiley the Ghetto Child, everybody from the third. If you live there, you call it the third. If you didn't live there and you don't call it the third, and you say you have been around 183rd, you weren't around there. We were really there. Do everything, top to bottom. The reason why I gotta lead up to this story is because at the time before we did this record, Melikyle the Nutcracker was facing a long bid because he got caught in two different scenarios that were gonna put him in jail for quite a while. And he was 16 at the time, so he was underage. But I had to make a deal with the judge. Shout to Judge Bamberg. Thank you so much. A lot of people that knew the history of Melikyle the Nutcracker, Melikyle, he wanted to be a boxer. You see his physique and how he's built and he's always with his shirt off, walking around, mobbing and all like this. He's really that way. But the thing is, he dreamed of being a boxer. We were going through issues where I was going to court for two years, working and working on the judge, even with a lawyer, still talking to the judge directly saying, judge, why don't you just let him box, being that I got him in boxing school and let him do that. She said, no, because he's a violent offender twice, got caught within the same amount of months, and boxing is a violent sport. I'm like, yeah, but if you can get paid for it, what's the problem? She said, doesn't matter. She said, but I know one thing you can remember, remand. If you don't know about jail, remand means put him back in jail instead of letting him out on the street on bail. She said, you're in the music business. Have him make an album. I was like, yeah, but he doesn't really want to do that. She says, album or else remand. She says it again. Mel's like, I don't want to do this album. I don't want to do an album. I'm like, dude, we're doing this. Now, he was already down with the group home. That was the name that Dap came up with. Just from us all, all being in the same circle when we used to live at Branford Marcellus' house in Brooklyn when we moved back from the third, back to Brooklyn. That's how the group home name started. You know, and again, shout out to Lil Dap for that. Me and Dap used to play around with this drum set that Branford had left when he moved to California to become the music director for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno after Johnny Carson stepped down. So I used to always play it because I play drums, I play bass. Shout to Travis Scott's dad, Jack Webster, who taught me how to play drums. Cause we were neighbors when I grew up as a kid. And his mom, not Travis's, but his father's mom, was my English teacher. Shout to Ms. Webster. But moving forward, I'd always play it and Dap would be like, yo, let me get on there, show me how to do that and, and rock it. Dap kind of caught on to where he could keep a, a rhythm. One day we're just all bugging out, drinking our 40s. This is the 40s era. This is 1992 to be exact. So this is obviously before I'm the Man was done with J. Ru and Dap on the Daily Operation album in 92. I'm playing the drums one day, everybody's freestyling. Dap breaks into a rhyme and we're like, oh, Dap is rhyming. Oh, 
shit, just having fun. Next thing you know, Guru does a demo for his Ill Kid sampler, which had a song called So Called Friends. When I heard how him and Melika rapped, I was like, yo, this could really work. So when you fast forward to where we are in 1994, first of all, we dropped a record previously, a single called Superstar, which did really, really, really well. That was the first single. So proud of that record. The video, everything, shot to Fat Gary. We run another Gangstar tour and he was like, yo, I'll make sure everything goes right. Just send a director over and we'll get the video shot and Gary made sure it happened. Salute to him, Gangstar Foundation family. With that said, Patrick Moxie, our former Gangstar manager for our whole career, said, I'll sign on the payday if you produce the album. Guru produced one track, I produced the rest. Shout to Jazz O, who also produced the track, and I did the, the bulk of the album. We had to come up with a name for the album. Dap said, let's call it Living Proof, because that's how we living. He, like he said, we from the low budget environment, you know what I'm saying? So he always said it's all about the low budget environment. And because he called it that, I said our next single should be called Living Proof. Most records that we do always have a song to the title of the album. After Superstar, which to me is one of the most creative records that I've done for anything in hip hop and especially for Group Home to set off their career like Come Clean did for J. Rue, you always gotta come up with that second banger that follows up. For J. Rue it was the original, for Group Home it was this. Now with this, I said it has to rumble because we come from the car stereo boombox era, not headphones and Walkmans were popping, but most of the people in our era, we had cars, Jeeps, SUVs and all of that. And we had booming systems and rims way before it got to the level that it's on now. I had to make sure this thing rumbled. I found a stab of these two notes that just said, I don't know what it was when you hear the you hear this thing going boom, 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 boom. And I was like, yo, if I beef that up in the bottom of it, when those notes hit, that's it right there. And then I started using these space sounds at that time to kind of bring the, the weirdness together to tie into my samples. Man, when I beefed up that bottom that I was hearing, now again, this is all your ear, what you catch. Okay, a lot of DJs have the same ear. Not if you don't do what I do or produce or be a DJ, but DJs, we have an ear. We remember a lot of rhymes because we cut and battle, but we also just hear things that some people may not catch. When I heard that rumble and beeped it up on a separate track and timed it out with that beep, next thing you heard was just da boom beep, insert this into the S950 Akai sampler triggered by the MPC60. When you put it in, this is what you hear. Do you feel that? Do you hear that? Well, again, you gotta be in a car or have a big radio. You ain't got either one of those. You might miss some of that boom. But the era that we come from, as I said, is from those particular sources of how we listen to our music. And with that said, the career of the group home began to take off. I remember Recipe Surprise, your Mob Deep, they say, yo, we're gonna have a shorties tour. It's cause they were all, you know, this, this height. And they said, we're gonna all go on tour together. Mob Deep, group home, Onyx. And from there, you know, the career of group home was put into a pedestal where their album is noted as one of the most classic albums in the history of hip hop and my career and their career and the Gangstar Foundation. And again, I gotta thank Guru for even pushing me to do this. Matter of fact, can I get that album right there? I see, I, I, I can see it on the shelf. I note to the left, to the left, and the left, there's a couple more, yep, right there. Pull one of those out. Classic, man, classic. There it is, living proof. Can't deny this, all right? Salute to Dab, salute to Mel, rest in peace to Guru, shout out to the whole Gangstar Foundation. And again, salute to this floppy disc right here, all right?